Let me ask you something, son. Oh, you're asking me something. This is a new intro. Maybe you've changed. Do you like pirates? I think we've really gotten off topic now. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like pirates, sure. You know who else likes pirates, son? The police. Nope, you haven't changed at all. All right, I was just checking. Please don't do this to me. I have so much to live for. Okay, Dad. Um, what what do the police and pirates have in common? Well, they both start with the P, and they both love big friggin' cannons. Look to your left, boy. See something rising up as the would-be scumbag comes forth. Dad, those are cannons. What the hell are those? Those are police cannons, my boy. Government issue. I did it. I won. I beat Gray. Suck on my plastic wiener, you dirty spoon licker. So, son, how did you enjoy your first experience with the pirate police? Well, I got hit by a wayward boulder in the ankle, so it's about a 2 out of 10. Hey, Lord, everybody grace to blaze, we're back with more Beam NG Drive. Out here in South California, they have a lot of pirates. I don't know if that's true or not, I just decided it. Over here, we have a seemingly innocuous police chase. However, somewhere down the road, Two gigantic cannons filled with about a hundred boulders each are going to be firing their munitions at various vehicles. I'm gonna start adding stuff. We'll probably put some rockets on these. We'll put some jumps down. And yes, I'll probably fire the rocks at a plane because everyone always loves the planes. I'm kind of wondering who can make it through the meteor shower of sadness. Uh, that's the only way I can describe exactly what the rocks flying down from the sky are. All right, so we're off here. So far, so good. Like, it's no big deal. Everyone's riding down the roadway. Actually, all these trucks pretty much keep pace with one another. The police and and Jiminy and Jeremiah and all that, they all kind of go exactly the same speed. So there's really no issue when it comes to, like, trying to catch or overtake these guys. We're going to have to try some much, much faster vehicles against the cannons. That's for sure. Like I said, the rockets on this should uh, prove to be quite interesting as well. Now, what you want to do is you want to get your cannons lined up like so. All right, rockets on all the vehicles. I replaced the rocks with 500 pound barrels filled with oil. It, they seem to fly a lot further. We're gonna see how well they do. Here we go, now there's a Christmas tree up ahead. When we see the Christmas tree, we have to get ready to fire because we're moving pretty quickly here. Yep, okay, there's the Christmas tree, let's fire. There goes the barrels. There goes the sad barrels. Here comes the rocket vehicles. Oh, God. Oh, they're moving pretty fast, and they weigh a lot. Oh, my God. Yep. I kind of figured there'd be some damage. I was correct. Somehow, the, uh, the suspect vehicle is still moving. Some of these have flattened because they hit the ground. I kind of wonder what it's going to do to the tire. It just shot through it like a little bullet right underneath the undercarriage. Will the police cars be able to make it out all right? I think that they're going to be okay. I'm going to have to tilt my one cannon over to the right a little bit. I don't even think that the police are going to end up hitting any of these. Nope, they managed to... They caught something. I don't know what it was. All right, it's time to go bigger and faster. We've got the meatest family over here. They're wanted for having the biggest and best delicatessen meats. Also, all of these vehicles are have uh, superchargers in them, Hellcat style. 
So they should go pretty fast, as well as having a ton of beef inside of them. You know, no pun intended. And they're off. Everyone's moving very swiftly. With the beautiful sounding Hellcat supercharges in there. Sounds fantastic. It's kind of interesting. No one wants to go too fast. I think it's because they know that this road is a real pain in the ass. And if you go, yeah, now we're moving. Never mind. If you go too fast, you end up getting killed. Everyone's moving swiftly. The Christmas tree in the distance, which means that Christmas is coming. And here we go. And it is a Merry Christmas indeed. There's all your presents flying at you at high speeds. You can see, like I said, sometimes the, uh, the canisters get like all defected because of how quickly the cannons shoot out their payloads and we are in for a direct hit. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh, it's glorious. The Metis family wasn't prepared for this. Going underneath the tires as well. A lovely careening upside down flip do And the police for the most part, although they have the same engines, they appear to be a little bit behind the times. Never mind, one of the wheels just got completely ripped off. Well, now the other wheel gets it too. Might as well keep everything nice and level. Over here, this fluttering weirdness like a leaf, except it weighs 500 pounds. It's a 500 pound leaf. That's the only issue. So in the end, the Metis family did in fact get caught by the police. Actually, I'm kind of surprised. The police made out pretty good. They took a little bit of damage, but uh, right there's your precision interception techniques. All right, new plan. The first cannon's going off when this grouping reaches the, uh, the Christmas tree. And then the second cannon's going off when the police reach the Christmas tree. And we'll see who can survive the onslaught. Here we go. Almost there. There we go. Let's do it. All right. In comes the first barrage right there. Now the police are a little bit behind, so we're gonna we're gonna give them a moment because they, they have to get they have to get just as much fun as the suspect vehicles do. You can see I pretty much got the timing on now. It is a mortar of epic proportions right through the windshield. There it is. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was pretty good. But now we have to see if we can take out some of the police as well. The police coming up to the Christmas tree and we're almost ready to fire. Three, two, one. We have ignition. Now you can see this lone police car is about to take the lion's share of the sadness. Oh yeah, worked pretty good. Caught up underneath the side of the uh, the undercarriage, right over here, man. These things are fantastic at tearing tires out. But other than that, they don't do a lot of impact damage. It's kind of really good for tires, but that's about it. So we have two of the suspect vehicles that managed to make it through, and we'll see in a minute here if any of the police cars managed to do it. They may have all lost their tires. Oh, what in the hell, Twister sadness? Imagine if one of the cars hit that. It's moving at like six billion miles. Whoa. It's moving at like six billion miles an hour. So it's totally possible that anything that touches that thing would be immediately shredded. All right, all three police cars made it through, which means that uh, we're not throwing a deadly enough payload. I have an idea. I can't believe I had never thought of this before. The best way for the police to catch a scumbag is with more police. So now the cannons are going to be throwing freaking bomb squad trucks. Ooh, do, 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 do. Hey, right about there. The biggest issue I'm going to have here is I'm not exactly sure how far bomb squad trucks fly. I've tested it a couple times, but they're freaking bomb squad trucks. They don't exactly have the best in aerodynamics, okay? Let's just keep an eye out over here for uh, any would-be scumbags that may be appearing in our field of view. Oh, there's some now. All right, right about at the Christmas tree. That's usually, that's usually pretty much where it is. There we go. There they go. <laughs> oh, never thought I'd be shooting bomb squad trucks at the enemy. Whatever. The police do what it takes, okay? You know, sometimes you got to use ingenuity. And sometimes ingenuity is throwing a bomb squad truck at the problem. I always said in BMNG, if you can't fix something, you just have to throw more money at it. And I think that truly is the way of things. Oh, no. This is, uh, I don't know if it's gonna be a direct impact, but it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty close. Looks like we're gonna touch down over here momentarily. Mmm. Bomb squad trucks are so good at falling to pieces. There it is. Yep, the bomb squad truck really... Oh, my God. 
There's nothing left. It got peeled off the frame. The rest of it got peeled off the frame. Uh oh. This bomb squad truck, he's trying to stop from hitting his police cohorts. I think only part of the paneling is going to end up flattening all the tires. But other than that, really no damage to the police, which was exactly what we had intended. Although it only looks like the uh, the yellow suspect vehicle ripped. Well, never mind. Okay, the police, the blue suspect vehicle ended up getting rocked as well. Oh, this was bad over here. Get in my belly. There we go. I think I'm going to throw these ones out a little bit later this time. Just to see if we can catch more of the vehicles. Well, there's someone. I can see at least one car coming in. Oh, there's a couple others behind him. Yeah, we'll stagger the shots a little bit. Here we go. All right. Okay. The first police vehicle just got obliterated inside of the freaking cannon. I don't know what happened, but it just blew up real bad. We've got a secondary police vehicle. That's why I always keep two around. All right, the first one doesn't work. You got to use the second one. We can't have these suspects getting past our police. Well, never mind. The suspect completely got past the police. As a matter of fact, I think it may only be the police that end up taking any of this engagement. Yep, there we go. Right off the front tire. Luckily, the police are pretty tough. These big, uh, these big SUVs can take a hit and kind of keep going. Now, if you're curious what happened over here, somehow the police vehicle ended up behind the plunger of pain. And then when it came back, it completely flattened and exploded the bomb truck. What do you think the appropriate pay is to have someone inside of this vehicle as the ammunition that tries to take out all the other vehicles? Let's try and throw a plane against these. Why do you guys always ask for the impossible? All right, I've got one high and one low because I have no idea where all this is going to be. Oh, God. Never mind. I just have one low. The high one seems to always have a problem with the cannon. I'm not really sure why. Oh my god. Oh, this is impossible. Okay. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm totally missing it. I need to definitely bank harder to the right or the left. You know, my other, my other right. Oh god. I think we're coming in for a crash landing over here against the cannon. This is not what I had planned. Crap. All right, baby. Come on now. Here we go. All right, we've got incoming bomb squad vehicles. I repeat, incoming bomb squad vehicles. We're going to need evasive maneuvers in order to stay away from the incoming bomb squad vehicles. Actually, the bomb squad vehicles don't really fly that far. I may even have to uh, arc them up further. Look at that right between both vehicles. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to hit the ground pretty hard, but that right there was an impressive maneuver. Uh, not really intended but impressive nonetheless. All right, here's the plan. We're gonna fly right toward the barrel this time. Right toward the cross shots. Right about here. Okay, here come the police vehicles. Mother of God. What does it take to hit them? It's, it's almost, it's almost freaking impossible. Like, I'm so good at going right between them. Damn it. Attempt number six billion. We're doing it this time, baby. I don't care what it takes. Here we go. Come on. Come on, make Gray, make Gray happy. No, you scumbag. Ah, please God. Just let this hat. Are you freaking serious right now? Come on. Now it's just a personal goal at this point. That's all it is. Okay. You, you guys have no idea how long I've been doing this. This has been like an hour just trying to make this happen. That's how annoyingly difficult this is. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. All that to just have a friggin' plane get hit by a bus out of a cannon and then come flying down into the cannon itself. <laughs> it actually went inside the cannon. I never thought I'd do that. Wow. I guess my aim is better than I thought. Landed it. All right, that's going to be it for this episode of Beam Drive, where we got to fire a bunch of different things out of the freaking cannons, trying to take down scumbags and planes. Please don't make me try and take down planes with cannons again. That was a giant pain in my ass. If there's anything else you want me to do, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. I'll make it happen one way or the other. I don't care how long it takes. If you want to make the YouTube machine happy, you try and hit a freaking plane with a car out of a cannon. Until next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.